Hello everybody, in today's video we are looking at a LEGO Creator 3-in-1 set. This is one of the new ones that came out in March of 2021. This is the Space Mining Mech. And uh, yeah, let's get right to it. Okay, so because all three builds of this set were actually pretty decent, we're actually going to go over all three of them. So this is the first main default build the main space mining mech. First and foremost it comes with a little extraterrestrial little alien dude. Kind of like a kind of like a Lego Mixel, if you will. Kind of got the big teeth. He's on a ball socket so you can kind of move his head as much as you want with lots of articulation. You can shut it all the way like this to make like a buck tooth or something. I don't know, depending on how you want to put it. You can also do this and just yeah. Lots of, uh, it's an alien, it's, it's okay for it to be weird. So it's a very nice, really lo nice little build there. And of course the other thing for the, for the, for the mech to pick up is the, this little, little uh, terrain with the crystals. I think this is what the, the mech is trying to harvest, is these uh, crystals, trying to get it out. As you can see they can be removed just like that. So, really nice transparent green pieces here. Very, very nice. Alright, the mech itself. Articulation wise, angles, and then you can move the, oops, do not snap that off, you can move the legs, can't move the knees unfortunately, but you know what, there's enough articulation for, in the legs that it doesn't really matter if you don't, if you can't articulate the uh, knees, arms, of course, it's on, it's on a, a ratchet joint, so it can be held and then the elbows are done on a ball socket, so it has a little, way more flexibility and and possibility options. So there is that. That's done pretty pretty well. Um, on this arm, you've got the the main saw, main saw right here to I don't know cut open terrain and get the crystals. And then the other arm, you just get a, a free hand just to hold stuff and hold the crystal and everything. Now, will this mech be useful in combat? Maybe, but it's definitely a labor mech. It's definitely one to work. It's not one to fight But I can probably see this in battle just saying but Yeah uh, Nothing much going on for the legs. Here's the main part. Here's the you got some headlights up here Then you've also got this um, Storage compartment because there is no driver. This is actually a robot so you can actually store this little uh, AI Um control panel thing so you can I don't know what's at the red but you can keep it at a, at, a, at a good and then I guess if you switch it to purple I guess the thing turned evil or something or went rogue I don't know but definitely give you that option to switch to different modes of this robot mech I guess it's not driver controlled so there's that so also um, I do like the use of these orange tiles here to, to help construct the arm of the little saw. I think it's, that's, I think that's done pretty well. Uh, the fingers is just one of the weaker th things in my opinion. I don't really like the way they were built or the way they were designed. I think they could have, could have had a little bit of improvements there. On the back, this is where you can detach this little sucker and what this does this is basically a little uh, drone or a little storage compartment. Hence why you got these little lights things and um, this is where you can put in those crystals on the back after you've done your heavy duty work. So you get a little backpack if you will. Also this is a way for you to hold the mech, although this is on a ball socket as well. It's, a, it's still another small little thing. So there's that, so that's the mech for you. Overall, very, very strong build. I really, really like this mech. I think I'm definitely going to keep it as this version. And uh, yeah, but of course there are two other builds like I've showed you uh, that you're going to see in this video. So next up, we're going to take apart this and then we're going to do this one and then we're going to do this one. So there's that. So we'll be right back. That's it for this one. This one gets a nice... Uh, you know what, I'll save my mark for the final verdict. So, let's move on to the next build. Okie dokie, here is build number two of the set. This is kind of like a little, 
for that. I don't mean to flip over. This is a four-legged leg uh, walker drone transport thing. Got the miniature arms in the front. And this time it's actually controlled by an a by the alien. <laughs> so that's a, that's a nice change of pace. Um, got some headlights here. In the back of the storage compartment, I guess this is where you're actually storing some of the stuff that they're collecting. And then the legs are just basically on the same uh, ratchet joints. So they're just... Moving up and down, of course, you can uh, twist the legs if you want, if you will. So, there's that. Um, ultimately, not bad. I'm quite impressed with this. Um, definitely, I, I like the concept of it. The arms, though, are just a bit goofy, kind of like T-Rex arms, if, in my opinion. But, hey, uh, this is not bad. Usually, with the pieces using focusing on the main builds. Actually, this set is pretty strong in their alternate builds. This one is actually pretty pretty funny too. It's like a space pickup truck, if you will, with, with arms in front. So, there's that. So, um, yeah, I personally like this. What do you guys think? And there's really not much to look at after this one. So, I guess now the, it's time to move on to the third and final build. So, let's get right to it. And here is the final build. This is kind of like a discount ATSD walker, if you will. If you, if you know Star Wars well enough, you'll know what I'm talking about. But yeah, it's a two-legged walker. The articulation, mm, kind of wish it was the other way, not like this, because that seems a little awkward. But you can articulate the, the feet, the legs, everything beautifully. So that is done quite well. It does look kind of awkward though on the back, because you got this weird pod of all the crystal stored inside and you got this weird satellite thing so it, it doesn't look the most presentable but it's still okay you know given that I I was willing to do all three so this is this is okay this is definitely one of the better ones there is a little robot that drives the um that drives this thing here he is looking absolutely handsome and that's the uh, driver's seat and everything and you just slap that on boom so it's very simple i think this is more of a transport other than an actual uh, utility vehicle so it's definitely not the strongest my favorite one has to be de the default for uh, first build one but this one's okay this one still shows the strength however the foundations can sometimes throw it off because it's the legs are just built a little bit on the weird side if you know what i'm saying so Honestly, yeah, this one's okay, but I think the other two are gonna be better in this in this scenario. So that's it for this one. And here is the box, just to wrap it all up. This is a $25 set, so this box is a relatively small size. Set 311115 with 327 pieces. The other two alternate builds are right here as we speak on the back of the box. Again, a picture of all three builds all displayed just like that and apart from that there's nothing much for the box and uh, yeah that is it for the box so what do I think well this is definitely one of the more stronger three-in-one sets in my opinion I do think all three builds are, were actually pretty good for this one um, hence why I did all three of them and honestly just overall as a set this is a pretty good mech for a little creator set and for the value of it I think this is like forty dollars obviously could have been a little cheaper actually no, I think this is twenty five dollars yeah twenty five dollars I think this is actually a pretty good price for what you get here and um, yeah it's a really nice mech it's you know simple basic but it's definitely something out of the ordinary it's definitely one of Lego's strongest creator sets in my opinion so yeah, good job on this one. My final score for it will probably be a 8 out of 10. Very, very happy with it. So, that's it for this one. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more. And that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.